The Genius is the name given to Dutch demolition contractor B-Next's new world-beating demolition machine. The name, however, could have been given to the man behind the machine, operator Willem van der Nagel, who has dedicated the past few years of his working life to designing and putting his dreams into practice. The demolition machine is a one-of-a-kind, custom-made, 320-ton behemoth designed to undertake some of the biggest and heaviest demolition projects the Netherlands and beyond can throw at it. Whilst Willem has been the force behind the design of the machine, along with his machinery manager Davy Kees, it is a combination of Dutch cat dealer Pawn Equipment and STC, the Dutch engineering specialists who have provided the engineering solutions, to bring the machine to the market and take the base machine, a next-gen 395, and turn it into what is believed to be the Northern Hemisphere's largest demolition machine. The city of Utrecht is constantly expanding, and with that, existing infrastructure requires modernizing and replacing. On a secluded site on the outskirts of town, we found some of the B-Next team part way through the demolition of the old wastewater treatment plant. The plant was seen as uneconomical to serve the growing population. So with a new plant constructed on land adjacent to the existing site, B-Next were employed to remove the now redundant site. Like many sites in the Netherlands, water can be an issue. The former settlement tanks on the site had been cleared of any contaminants prior to the team starting work, but as soon as the heavily reinforced concrete walls and floor had been punctured, Groundwater found its way into the bottom of the tanks. This meant constant pumping was required to remove any water from the site. The below-ground structures on the site were formed from particularly hard, heavily reinforced concrete with walls over 1.2 meters thick in places and with a substantial base to match. Big equipment was required to remove the material before the site was backfilled. B next operate a large fleet of almost exclusively cat machinery. We find the brand to be very reliable and capable of undertaking the hard work we perform. Davy comments, the dealer, Pawn Equipment, is also very good to work with and understand what we want from them. Having the fleet dominated by one brand also means that we know what we are dealing with when it comes to servicing and breakdowns. It also allows us to carry a substantial supply of service items, which are commonly found across a wide range of machines. While many of the B-Next machines are standard CAT offerings, the specialist side of the demolition industry requires specialist bits of kit. We have been planning a new, large demolition machine for several years. Willem explains, we then resurrected the idea and set out to bring it to life. What sets the genius apart from most other large demolition machines is its ability to work in a huge range of positions. We required the excavator to be able to work at heights of 70 meters and as low as 30 meters beneath the machine. We also wanted it to work at a radius of 38 meters and right in next to the tracks. Willem comments, you will not find another machine of this size capable of achieving this. Sourcing suitable parts was a mammoth task with Willem and Davy scouring the continent for suitable items. We could have just gone to Pawn Equipment and ordered a 395 and built everything up from that. Davy comments, but we felt it was more economical and better environmentally to source bigger, better parts already manufactured and tested for our machine. The upper structure was ordered through Pawn, but the huge track frames were sourced from a mine where they were not used anymore. They cost a small fortune, Willem jokes, but they were a lot cheaper than buying new. We also picked up the cylinders from a crane demolition company, JNTH, Vandervelt BV, for less than new prices. These have come from machines such as the 6060FS, 6020B, and RH70 mining shovel, as well as CAT374 excavators. In total, the working equipment as fitted to the machine during our visit carried no less than 10 cylinders to articulate its four boom sections. Each boom section is also fitted with quick-release couplings, allowing different configurations to be built up. These also allow the machine to be stripped down and ready for transport within a day. 
The heaviest part of the machine is around 70 tons and measures 3.5 meters by 3.5 meters. Such is the detail put into the development of the genius. B Next have already filled their order book with projects requiring the huge machine's attention. Working at such radius requires the machine to do so in a safe manner. Whilst many manufacturers and conversion companies use readily available safety systems, B-Next, STC, and Pwn developed their own system to ensure the machine remains well within its operational safety zone. The system also works from a bespoke app Willem has on his iPhone. Built by the team at Pawn, the app allows Willem to mirror the screen inside the cab to his phone. It also allows him to work the machine with a suitable remote control handset from a safe distance away. I have not tried it out properly yet on the remote control, Willem points out, but on my initial practice, I found it to be just like sitting in the cabin. The cab has been taken from the Cat 395 excavator, but has been mounted to a lifting frame which tilts the cab backwards, lifts it up, and pushes it forwards to give him a view of wherever he is working. The rear of the upper structure has been fitted with a huge removable counterweight system, totaling 64 tons. The current boom and arm configuration has, like the remainder of the B-Next fleet, been fitted with a CAT CW coupler. We have been using these for many years in the Netherlands, Davy explains. We looked into changing to a hydraulic system, but the cost would be too prohibitive, even in the long term. All of our excavators use the hitch and have several attachments for each machine, which would mean we would have to change the headstocks on over 120 attachments almost in one go. The company has, however, added a new attachment to its arsenal for the Genius. Sourced through Dehako, the MS-140 shear has been reinforced by the factory with its weight up to almost 16 tons. Even at a 25-meter-plus working radius, the Genius handles the heavy tool exceptionally well as it steadily breaks out a meter-wide concrete wall around 5 meters below its tracks. Looking stunning in its green and white livery, the Genius is accompanied on site by B-Next's other large STC converted excavator, the Cat 390F. These two behemoths provide the bulk of the firepower to remove the concrete structures whilst a Cat Next Gen 352 and a pair of 349F excavators work alongside on secondary processing and breaker duties. It is still early days for the Genius, and like many custom-made innovations, there have been some small issues with hoses, seals, and the like. It's nothing we can't sort out, Willem comments. Come back and see us soon when we have completed the testing.